Hey, Santa Grover here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Super Collider demo. I'd like to show you the basic setup for live performance where your input, your source, whether that's the voice going into the microphone or an instrument, will be going through a series of effects. Now for this demo, I only have two effects. That's the delay effect and also the reverb effect. But we will start with establishing a hierarchy of the source followed by the effects, as you would see in a digital audio workstation like Logic. I wanted to do sound synthesis, but with all the troubleshooting I had, I only can give you right now the basic setup. So hopefully there is more sound synthesis to come with live input. But you know, I think it's handy to know live input with maybe something like voice or violin or the instrument of your choice. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our microphone synth def here, which I will go ahead and evaluate. Now, I don't really need to instigate this. We have our input, as you can see here. You can hear my voice. I can hear my voice through my headphones, you know, going into the interface there. So it's not really necessary. This is going to be for later when we establish a hierarchy of groups. This is our really the uh, basics of order of execution here in Super Collider. And with this, we'll go ahead and evaluate our delay synth, which is our linear interpolated delay. I think I did get this from one of Field Steel's videos. Um, I know for sure that I got the reverb synth from his videos. But yes, we did establish that, as you can see here. And now I'm going to evaluate it, where I will have a delay time of one second. You can see that here. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you those parameters that you would need. So we have our input signal, in this case, uh, my voice using the class sound in. A maximum delay time, and this is important. This is the value that initializes the delay buffer size. So I, I would like to be generous with it, about four. Anything exceeding the delay size I've noticed, or the max delay size, I've noticed gets cut off and the delay is not as effective. So I'm just gonna keep my delay time under four seconds. I have found that to be the most effective this way. And of course our delay time in seconds, which I have it default as one, and also one down here for changing. And we'll just go ahead and take it away. So I'm going to evaluate this. And, and, and you should hear a second, hear a second delay. delay. You should hear a second delay. And how, how about, about, and how about, about two, two seconds. seconds. Two seconds. And, and random, random values. values. And random values. A tenth of a second, second to, to, a tenth of a second to three, three seconds. seconds. Three seconds. So let's see let's how this how sounds. sounds. So let's see how this sounds. A little, a little over, over a second. A second. And how about this? And how about this? In a and really, and quick, a really delay. quick delay. So, so, so let's go ahead and free that. Free that. Now we do need to establish a delay bus. So I have Del bus here with a uh, two channel bus here. And this synth, or I should say syntax, this will be for our groups coming up. And now let's go ahead and evaluate our reverb. And actually, let me, I think I, let me just, I'm sure I evaluated before recording this video, but you know, why not? <laughs> and let's evaluate our reverb synth. And so we have this established and let's go ahead and evaluate our reverb bus for our groups in the future. And now we have a basic group setup where we will include a mic group, a delay group, and a reverb group. Now the mic group must be established first. It's group.new. This needs to be the head. The source needs to be the head of the effects. The source must be instigated and then run through the delay before that running through the reverb. That's the, the hierarchy. 
And Eli Fieldsteel touches on server architecture and order of execution very well. I'm happy to include some of his videos on that. He explains it pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, that is in his videos. So this is just a very basic setup for you to explore with your instrument or voice. So I have this uh, together as a block of code, so we will go ahead and do that. And you can see three groups, each will be designated uh, for a specific synth, whether it's my mic synth, my delay synth, or my reverb synth. Now for the delay group, I have it with using the method after, and that needs to be the mic group. And I found this to be most effective, uh, my, my reverb group, I found this to be most effective after coming, um, coming after the delay group. So we have that. Now, nothing is named here, but you will go ahead and see a kind of syntax for our group where we have our mic having the input in the, as the source, as the first source, and the output is going to go through the reverb bus. And then we have our delay synth here, input our delay bus, and the output is actually going to be the reverb bus. I found this to be most effective. <laughs> without the reverb bus, the delay would happen without the reverb. And then finally, our reverb bus and having the output be channel zero, so you would hear the whole enchilada. Let's go ahead and take it away. Where we have our del time a third of the second in, so kind of a triplet feel. And here we go. And, and we have we this. Have this. It's a pretty pretty extensive, extensive reverb. reverb. And we'll, and go, we'll go, go ahead and, and show you here. here. We have we our mic sense, 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 our delay sense, 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 and, and our, our reverb, reverb sense. Sense. And, and we can, we can go ahead, go ahead and free, free these scents, being sure that they match the corresponding names, of course. And you can also free these groups. And they are gone here. So let's go ahead and establish this once more and just play with, you know, changing the values of, you know, things like the reverb time, maybe the low pass filter, the mix, and also the delay time. And why don't we have maybe a shorter initial reverb time? Oh no, oh no. Too much. Too much. And that happens with my condenser mic sometimes, and, and I have to be careful, but you heard that kind of fuzzy static. So this may help with a longer reverb time, or it may help just to <laughs> reboot the server. Let's try this again. How about how about three seconds? All right, all right, all right. How's, how's this? this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little bit better. Bit better. better. You, can you can almost get, get, a, get a, a comb filter. filter. Actually, actually, I don't, I don't want to free, free that. that. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so it came back. So, I would say be careful with your delay and your reverb values. I also have reverb pretty loud. I don't think that will mitigate that fuzzy static, but let's see what this does. Let's have rather soft amplitude for both of them. A little bit, but I think my condenser mic is acting up. But you get the point. <laughs> so let's go ahead and Oh, I, want, I do want to change these values for you. One second. We're going to do this one more time. Have, have you have an idea of that? Maybe a pretty fast reverb. Hello? Hello. So, so quite so quick. quick. It's got a pretty effective uh, you know, closure, closure there, there or decay there. there. Mike is Mike still is acting up. That's okay. Let's go ahead and change these values. So pretty, it sounds pretty short. 
Oh, but I, I still hear a tail end of that reverb. Oh no, what's this? Oh, one comma, there we go. Hello? I have not warmed up my voice. This is actually the first time I'm speaking today. <laughs> so, but maybe some, maybe some Enya with this reverb. <laughs> uh, another time. And we'll go ahead and free that. Yeah, I, I sort of can't help myself. All right, and then we'll go ahead and free those groups as well. So yes, that should be your basic setup there for your source input for live performance and running through some effects there. So again, here's my reverb synth for your records and also, well, it's not mine actually, it's, it's Field Steel's. He takes the credit for that. And then also uh, the delay synth. Now, one thing to be sure with the delay synth, you, you do want the sound in class for it to work. And in with this shortcut exclam, that is to have the output be stereo instead of mono. So there you have it. That is the basic setup for your live performance input. Hopefully that is helpful for you to start exploring with your own voice and instrument. And yeah, until next time, hopefully more sound experimentation next Thursday. Hopefully a little more sound uh, synthesis with live performance, but um, it's been a, a little bit of a bit of troubleshooting for me. So um, bear with me. I will be exploring that in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, thanks for watching and listening. Always be on the lookout for some more sound experimentation every Thursday and live commentary every Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. This week I will be doing space opera in honor of Star Wars Day, May the 4th. So I hope to see you there for some lively discussion. And until then, keep producing the art you love and I will see you next time. Thanks again.